Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you guys? I hope you guys are all doing well. If you guys are new here, then welcome. And if you've been with me for a while, welcome back. So we are going to be doing your April monthly reading. It is a general reading, so it's not going to be able to resonate for everyone. Just take what's meant for you and go ahead and leave the rest behind. Everything that you guys need to know about the reading or about scheduling personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below, as well as a link to my online metaphysical store. And there is a discount in there, or a discount code in there as well. That's just for you guys. Okay. So if that's something you guys are interested in, that will be in the description box for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my very beautiful Sagittarius. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear them. Please show me Sagittarius's energy. What is going on for my beautiful Sagittarius? May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear them. All right, Sag, we got the Page of Pentacles. This is Messenger. There is some kind of offer, some kind of good news coming in for you. I like it. I feel like this is something that you guys have been manifesting, okay? Tell me about this Page of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups in the reverse. Somebody's coming back towards you, Sagittarius. Okay, somebody's coming back towards you. Um, and this is something that you've been desiring, okay? It's something that you guys have been manifesting is an offer from this person. Beautiful. So let's take a look at their energy towards you. Show me the person that Sagittarius is dealing with in this situation. What is their energy towards Sagittarius? The Eight of Pentacles. So this is somebody who is ready to work on things with you, okay? Um, they are ready to put the work in. I feel like at one point, you know, you guys were in separation. You were wanting this to work out. Maybe they weren't willing to work on it before. They weren't putting the energy in. Maybe you were the one that was giving and giving and giving. Um, but this person seems to be ready to do that now. They are coming back towards you with an offer. And with it being the Pentacles, okay, the Page of Pentacles, it is a solid offer, okay? This is somebody who, you know, has really thought this out. And the Page of Pentacles is the only page that can turn into a king. And I really like this Page of Pentacles for you, okay? Definitely wanting to be, definitely wanting to put the work in on this. I like it. What other energies? Ooh, it's flying out for you. The Death in the Reverse, okay? They're definitely coming back towards you. They are ready they are ready to work on this second chance. They are ready to put the work in to show you, um, to show you that they want this, to show you that they want this second chance. They're willing to work to prove it to you. They are willing to put the work in to make this happen. Show me Sagittarius's energy towards this person. What is Sagittarius's energy towards this person? The Queen of Swords. So I do feel like you're a little bit on the defense. I feel like this, um, you got to guard up a little bit, okay? Um, I feel like you're going to be definitely willing to listen, willing to communicate with it being the Queen of Swords. Um, but you're also willing to swing that sword and cut it off if you see any red flags or, you know, if there's something that doesn't feel right. There's a little bit of distrust here. But I definitely feel like you're going to be, you know, willing to open, you know, have open, honest communication with this person. What other energies does Sagittarius have towards this person? What other energies? We have the Devil card and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so you're going to be figuring out what your next move is. The Knight of Pentacles, it is proceeding with caution. Okay, figuring out what the next move is, what the next step is to take. Um, with the Devil card being here, I do feel like... Um, there was some kind of toxicity tied to this connection, whether it was, you know, during the connection or whether it was a really bad breakup, wherever it is, at some point, there was some toxicity here with this devil energy. And it's definitely making you very cautious. It's definitely um, putting your wall up, your guard up, and you're definitely ready to, you know, to cut this off if it seems like it's going in that direction, okay? Okay. So what actions will this person be taking towards Sagittarius? What actions? 
the seven of swords in the reverse this person is coming forward to apologize okay they want to apologize for the wrong that they've done um, I feel like this person, especially with the, the pentacles being here, this is somebody who has spent the time to really think about what they've done, think about their actions. They've learned a lot of lessons, okay? They had a lot of major realizations. Um, they're seeing things very clearly now, um, what they've done to you and what they did to this connection and what they want from here. So this person is definitely going to be coming forward to apologize, try to set things right. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they're coming in with a very solid, stable offer. They've really thought it through. Um, they're coming in, you know, the whole shebang. Okay, they, this is a long-term, stable commitment. They're not trying to, you know, waste your time here. They're they're coming in full offer in apology. So, how does Sagittarius? What is their actions towards this person? What is Sagittarius's actions towards this person? What is Sagittarius's actions? the tower so I do feel like this is a very it's coming in as kind of a shock for you I don't think that you expected to hear this from this person and I don't think that you expected the apology I don't think that you expected them to come with this offer um it's definitely taking you by surprise okay it's a little bit of a shock here what other actions for Sagittarius the two of swords. So you guys are going to be really listening to this person, but I feel like, like I said, you have your guard up. You don't necessarily trust this person. This is the energy of needing to make a, like of making a head over heart decision. I feel like you're trying, you know, this has brought up a lot of emotions for you, a lot of feelings for you. It's a very surprising, very taking you off guard. And I feel like you're just really trying to, you know, think, think logically um, and make a decision that way. So this could definitely be happening in April. I don't see necessarily you making a decision in April. Um, I feel like this energy of giving this person the chance to prove themselves. So I don't think that you're necessarily shutting them down or taking them back. Um, it seems to me that you're giving them the opportunity to, you know, prove themselves one way or another. Um, and you're trying your best to wade through the feelings to make the right decision for you. So what potential outcomes do we have for Sagittarius? What potential outcomes do we have for Sagittarius in this situation? The star card. Beautiful. And the Queen of Cups. So I definitely feel like this person is going to be weighing on your mind and heart. Okay, it's definitely triggering some of those feelings and emotions that you've had. It could make you even a little bit overly emotional for a while because it is bringing up a lot of stuff. Okay, it's bringing up a lot of feelings. Um, so I definitely see that happening. Um, and then the star card, though. So this is really beautiful. I do believe that this apology, and I do believe it is genuine, okay? Um, I do believe it does bring a sense of peace, a sense of healing to you as well. It's bringing up a lot of emotions, but there's a part of you um, that's that's getting some healing from this. At the very least, whether you take them back or not, um, you know, you're, you're getting some healing, some peace from this. And... It might be a process because, I, like I said, I see a lot of emotion. So I don't necessarily think you guys are going to be making your decision right away. Like I said, I feel like you guys are going to be sitting with it for a little bit and giving them the opportunity. But I feel like you're going to be open to at least listening to them. What advice do we have for my beautiful Sagittarius? What advice do we have for my beautiful Sagittarius, please? Any advice that we have for Sagittarius? All right, so we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Cups. So not to let your emotions run the show, okay? Um, the Queen of Cups can be very overly emotional, and she can definitely be kind of like a sad girl, sad boy vibe. Get really stuck in those emotions, okay? So there's a need for you guys to just not let the emotions become so overwhelming. Do whatever you need to do to kind of keep that in check a little bit. And then the Queen of Pentacles, this is definitely the energy of being at a crossroads and Spirit is saying, you know, really trust your intuition and spend the time that you need to to make the right decision for you um, because this is a kind of a crossroads energy, but it's also about nurturing yourself. And with the Queen of Cups being here as well, this is definitely an energy of really 
being kind, patient, and compassionate to yourself while you deal with all this stuff coming up, okay? This is going to bring some stuff up for you. So take your time to really take care of yourself, okay? Be patient with yourself. Be understanding and compassionate to yourself during this time. Let's get some confirmation, clarification, and advice for you. Ooh, Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, can we get confirmation, clarification, or advice from my beautiful Sagittarius's? Confirmation, clarification, or advice from my beautiful Sagittarius, please. One more. Confirmation, clarification, or advice. There we go. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So I feel like spirit is telling you, here, that it is at least very safe for you guys to be open and honest. Go ahead and express how you feel. Be honest with this person about how you feel. Um, it's going to be really important to you. And if this is a cross watcher, I feel like Spirit's giving you that confirmation, um, you know, to go ahead and just express how you feel, to be very open and to be very honest. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So this is definitely a card about being present in the moment. Don't dwell about so much as what's happened in the past or worry so much about what could happen in the future because that'll bring up a lot of fears, depression, anxiety, okay? stay Try to stay as present in the moment um, as you possibly can. And it's a card of manifestation. You guys are manifesting, you know. Um, you guys are manifesting at this time. So really be careful with your thoughts. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Another card of manifestations, okay? So really be cautious with your thoughts because I do believe that some of you, even whether it's unintentionally, are manifesting, you know, this person back into your life. Let's get your charms and see what other messages Spirit has for you. So you guys got two horses here, and so that could be significant for some of you. Um, this is going to come in really fast, okay, and it's going to almost knock you off your feet. It's going to take you by surprise, but just keep in mind the messages here that just because it's coming in fast, just because it seems like it's all happening so fast and it does kind of take you off guard doesn't mean that you have to rush anything else you don't have to rush the connection you don't have to rush your decision you don't you can do anything at your own pace so just keep in mind that even though it feels very fast you're in charge of your energy and what you give out and what you allow in so we have the two skulls on a little wheel here on a hoop this is definitely um, a message about toxic cycles so for some of you you know Maybe it's not meant to take this person back, but maybe this person coming back to apologize does bring healing. Um, it does give you some closure and it does allow you to, um, you know, really move forward with a sense of peace. It's going to be differently f different for everybody. If your connection wasn't toxic, then obviously this message is not for you. You know, this portion of the message isn't for you. So just take what resonates for you. But for some of you, it's to recognize that this, you know, you have been in a toxic cycle with this person. And yes, they have had realizations. And yes, um, you know, they are apologizing. But maybe for some of you, it's, a, you know, kind of a test, a lesson. You know, have you really, have you really learned are you really going to do this again? There's things that it's going to be differently for everyone. You guys really need to, you know, pray and meditate about it and just apply it to your specific situation. But we have the star again, which definitely reminds me of the star card. There's a lot of healing that is going to come from this either way. It's going to give you a sense of healing to what you guys have been through with this person. And finally, we're going to get your angel messages and see what the archangels that will be watching over you for the month of April, what they have to say for you. Archangels, as you watch over and you guide my beautiful Sagittarius for the month of April, what message do you have for them? As you watch over and you guide my beautiful Sagittarius for the month of April, what message do you have for them? Any messages? Oh, there we go. Yeah. 
You have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. That is Archangel Gabriel. That is a beautiful message. Don't let your insecurities and your fears hold you back. The angels are here to guide you, to help you. Um, you don't have to go through this alone, okay? And I am the angel of peace. I bring you a new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. I do believe this is going to give you a sense of peace, a sense of healing. It may be very overwhelming at first, but I do believe it's going to... You know be very healing for you in the end okay so if this resonates please let me know in the comments down below and if it doesn't check out your other signed placements sometimes those will resonate more than your sun sign does if you like the way that i read please like share and subscribe and if you guys hit the notification bell then when our monthlies mid monthlies and weeklies are uploaded you guys can be notified and you can go check them out um, if you guys want personal prayers, you can put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and I will pray for you. And I do ask that if you guys see somebody else with a prayer emoji, shoot up a prayer for them real quick and let's just be a really supportive, loving community. Alright guys, sending you guys so much love and light. Until next time.